वेलकम टू अरिहंत ग्रुप ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज यूट्यूब चैनल अ प्लेटफॉर्म टू गेट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ हेल्पफुल नॉलेज एंड इंफॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू फार्मिंग इट्स प्रॉब्लम एंड देर इजी इफेक्टिव एंड इनोवेटिव सोल्यूशन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू द एब्सल्यूट बेसिक्स द बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स ऑफ प्लांट ग्रोथ द एसेंशियल न्यूट्रियट्स दैट आर जनरली नीडेड बाय एनी प्लांट ड्यूरिंग इट्स कंप्लीट लाइफ साइकिल Like us human beings, plants also need nutrients for their development. Just the way we need the right type of nutrients in the right proportions to develop our strength and to grow, plants also require these nutrients in different quantities at different stages of their life cycle for different purposes. Further in this video, we will discuss a little bit about all these nutrients and their roles and importance when it comes to plant growth plants most commonly require 16 nutrients throughout all stages of their life cycle these nutrients can be majorly classified into four categories environmentally available nutrients primary nutrients secondary nutrients and micronutrients Environmentally available nutrients are carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. While primary nutrients include nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. And secondary nutrients are calcium, magnesium and sulfur. Micronutrients are boron, iron, manganese, zinc, copper, molybdenum and chlorine. Let's find out more about these environmental nutrients. The three nutrients that are taken up from the atmosphere by plants are carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. This is why they are also called non-mineral nutrients. Plants absorb carbon and oxygen from the air through their leaves as carbon dioxide. In the photosynthesis process, they transform carbon dioxide and water into hydrogen carbon and oxygen and all the other nutrients are absorbed through their root systems carbon is the primary building material of leaves roots and stems while oxygen is an essential part of glucose production which is used for energy in nutrient uptake by roots and hydrogen aids in proton gradients which are essential for photosynthesis Hydrogen is necessary for building sugars and other molecules to produce glucose for plant energy. Plants from the legume family can use atmospheric nitrogen. They work with helpful bacteria that help them absorb it by converting it into ammonia and ammonium. This process is called nitrogen fixation. Moving on to primary nutrients. Macronutrients are required in relatively large quantities. primary nutrients need to be supplied as part of an npk nitrogen phosphorus and potassium fertilizer some plants have different npk requirements each stage of the growth cycle such as root development and flowering may have different npk needs as well nitrogen is a major component of several essential compounds such as chlorophyll and amino acids It promotes structural and vegetative growth of stems and leaves. While phosphorus is a vital component of ATP used for energy, it holds DNA and RNA together and has several other major uses. It promotes root and fruit growth. And potassium regulates the opening and closing of stomata during photosynthesis. it promotes general plant growth let's get to know secondary nutrients secondary nutrients are required in smaller quantities than the primary nutrients mentioned previously calcium strengthens cell walls and aids in water movement magnesium is a central component of chlorophyll and works as a phosphorus carrier sulfur is a major building block of both amino acids and chlorophyll coming to micronutrients boron zinc 
copper manganese iron chlorine and molybdenum are used in minute amounts but are just as important to plant growth and development as the major nutrients in fact some micronutrients control the uptake of major nutrients and key processes boron is key for germination of pollen grains and the growth of pollen tubes chlorine enhances the maturity of small grains on some soils copper plays a major role in photosynthesis this element improves the flavor of fruits and vegetables and can help prevent some fungal infections in cereals iron is a major component of chloroplast which produces chlorophyll it also acts as an oxygen carrier manganese is important for pollen germination and root disease resistance molybdenum aids in the nodulation of legumes especially in acidic soils and zinc aids plant growth hormones and enzyme system and is necessary for chlorophyll production and carbohydrate formation let's indulge into knowing uptake of nutrients by growth stages plants absorb nutrients in different rates throughout their development cycle generally uptake rate is lower at the beginning of the growth cycle increases during fruit development and drops just before harvest furthermore uptake rates of individual nutrients vary along the growth cycle for example plants require more nitrogen during the establishment and vegetative growth stages while potassium is required in greater amounts during the fruit set period a factor that also decides which nutrient the plant needs is nutrient availability not all nutrients that are present in soil are available for plants in fact most of the nutrients in soil are locked up in minerals or in organic matter and only a small fraction becomes available for plant uptake soil ph affects all of these processes and therefore plays a major role in nutrient availability additional factors that affect nutrient availability include specific bacteria that mineralize nitrogen and phosphorus and balance between nutrients and the soil and more we hope that this information will be useful to you we will be going into more in depth explanations of each nutrient individually over the coming period we will keep bringing such informative videos for the benefit of our farmers let us know your suggestions in the comment section and do visit our website for more details thank you